Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've posted an Art History Minute episode, so I'm thrilled to be back. This week, I'm discussing a piece by one of my favorite artists, Artemisma Gentileschi. It's considered one of her signature works, and for good reason. To find out why, keep on watching. Susanna and the Elders was painted by Artemisma Gentileschi around 1610. It's one of her earliest known works. This piece shows a story of the same name from the Book of Daniel. It was quite popular during the Baroque period. In it, a young woman named Susanna is out in her garden taking a bath. Two elders spy on her and eventually ask for sexual favors. When she refuses, they spread lies about her being adulterous. She could have been put to death, but Daniel finds holes in the elders' stories and Susanna was cleared of any charges. This story was often used at the time as an example of feminine virtue and loyalty. This work serves as an excellent example of Gentileschi's use of emotion. The two men lean into Susanna's face and she recoils in horror. She holds up her hands to protect herself and her modesty. It's highly likely that Gentileschi poured some of her own emotion into this piece. As a young female artist, there is evidence that she would have been ostracized in the male-dominated field. Unfortunately, and very sadly, only a year after this work was painted, Gentileschi was sexually assaulted by one of her father's assistants, Augustino Tassi. She would continue to paint works showcasing strong biblical feminine heroes for the rest of her career. Artemisma Gentileschi faced many hardships over her life, but she is one of those rare individuals that was able to take her pain and suffering and turn it into a powerful and beautiful work of art. The scenes, including this one of Susanna, show the strength of women and it inspires us for generations to come. 